This is Drylands Mushing. It's one of the fastest growing dog sports in the world. It's quick, thrilling, Let's go guys! and unpredictable. Things do go wrong, and when they go wrong with the big teams, they go wrong quickly. Anything can happen, you could crash and burn, basically. <laughs> it's a birthright. You know, they are quite literally born to earn. So what does it take to be a musher? I'll be taking a spin in the forest. Steady. Good dogs. Whoa, whoa, good dogs. And how do you turn your pet into an elite animal athlete? We'll be heading to the UK's biggest sled dog rally to find out. <laughs> but first, meet Kev Spooner. He's an air conditioning engineer from Sheffield and a British sled dog racing champion. Eight years ago, he bought his first Siberian Husky, just one to begin with, but that didn't last long. Come on, guys. I got my first one because I wanted an Husky, so Shad come along, um, then found out that you can race them, um, so I got another one. We're at eight at minute, there probably will be some more coming, so I've got eight that live here. To be honest, well, you can see, they're chilled. So what's it like living with eight dogs? You've got to be an animal lover. If you're not an animal lover, forget it, what's the point? Um, all us love dogs and being out in the forest is just great with them. So sit behind them, watch them run. And that's what it is. It's just it's getting to one with your dogs. Three, two, one. Let's go girls, cheers. At nearby Sherwood Forest, he gets to be at one with his dogs almost every weekend. Mostly it's training runs, but today it's a British championship race over three miles. They were unbeaten last year. I won every race except two where I was second in two races. Gee, good job. Kev's one of 20 people competing today. They're known as mushers and it's their job to control the dogs and steer the rig. On fast downhills, these will top out at about 26 miles an hour. And then obviously any hills or any draggy bits where you feel them drop a little bit, I'll scoot with them, just help them keep that momentum up. Never die. Sled dog races are run as time trials against the clock, so Kev won't know if he's won until all the teams have run. Luckily for Kev, his partner Mel shares his passion for dogs. In fact, she's got 10 huskies of her own. Kev's a dog man. He's probably got half dog DNA in him. You know, he's probably the closest to his dogs than I've ever seen any other human being. You know, they just get each other. He gets his dogs, they get him. I get that, so it works perfectly. Back at the finish line and Kev's results are in. First by 38 seconds. Job well done. There they go, over the white blanketed countryside. Stepping along at a good of course, sled dog racing is not a new idea. In places like Canada and Alaska, competitions have been taking place for more than 150 years. Teams cover a difficult course over rough country and through timberland. But the history of the Husky stretches further still. It's an ancient breed of dog dating back thousands of years. It has a distant relative too in this animal, the grey wolf. Today the dogs retain many of the wolf's physical attributes, but they're a very different breed. And for the people who like to race them, events don't get any bigger than the Aviemore Rally in the Scottish Highlands. There are 250 mushers here competing with more than a thousand dogs. It's a massive event in a spectacular location and it is just brilliant to watch. Kev makes the 400 mile journey to Aviemore every year. It's not just a holiday, he's here for trophies and Mel is here to help him. Because we're running quite a big team here, there's quite a lot of dogs to harness and boot. So it's going to be a bit of a team effort. I love that it's a massive event and attracts a lot of people and it just makes it more of a, an event than just we're rocking up and doing a race. And you're not just here for the scenery, are you? You are here to win. Oh, wait, well, yeah, well, you've, if you're racing, you're racing to win. A lot of people say they're not, but at the end of the day, why are you racing? Just go and train. Keb's obviously not alone in his love for this sport. Most of these people have travelled hundreds of miles to compete here with their dogs. Pete Jones is from Market Raisin in Lincolnshire. He and his wife Kaz have been racing for 18 years. Anybody can do it, 
and it doesn't matter whether you've got two pet huskies or a kennel of 16 dogs, there's a class for everybody. Um, so basically you're a pet husky, you just want to do something with it, the, the sport's available for you. And it's, it's great, it's a buzz. So how hard can it be? Kaz has offered to give me some tips. So this will be my first time at mushing, Kaz. What do I need to know? Um, we've got you a nice heavy rig. It's a four-wheeler Roland rig. So you'll enjoy your run. We've got some steady dogs for you to run. The only commands you need to know is G and Haw. G is for right and Haw is for left. G, yep. Haw, Haw, steady dogs. Steady dogs. My heart's racing. <laughs> it's exciting. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I can feel them pulling already. Three, two, one. Steady. Steady, guys. Steady, steady guys. Steady boys, steady guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good dogs, whoa, whoa, good dogs. Wow. That was one of the most exciting and exhilarating things that I think I've ever done. Watching them pull like that was just incredible. Beautiful dogs. I have to admit, that was fun. It's no wonder so many people are hooked on sled dog racing. I just love her. It's an adrenaline kick and it keeps me young. We come here every year to race the dogs because we're barmy, <laughs> like everybody else is here. It's one man and his dog and we're doing what we all enjoy. We're out in the beautiful countryside with our best friends. What's better? The Aviemore course is a four-mile circular trail through Glenmore Forest. It's a time trial with each competitor setting off at one-minute intervals. It's Kev's turn on the start line. He's hoping his veteran eight-dog team will be up to the challenge. Three, two, one, let's go guys! The team makes steady progress over the first mile. Good dog! But it soon becomes apparent that all's not well up ahead. Dicky, you've lost him. Jump on back. Jump on. This musher was ahead of Kev, but he's fallen from his rig, and his dogs have carried on without him. The clock is ticking, but Kev wants to help his competitor to get back to his dogs. Have you got him? Spot on. Let's go. It's been a tough race. Both Kev and the dogs are exhausted. But even with all the drama, they've managed to clock the fastest time, making them the winners of the eight dog category. Lovely little run. A uh, bit of an issue where I've had to be off and sort of tangles like that, but everybody else has had major, major tangles. So I've sort of helped some of them out getting back to their rigs as well as running a race. I always love running veterans because it is that. It's dependable, they run, and you have a nice steady. Great run, um, and then obviously, if you get a good result on top of it, I should not care, can't they? My little leader, little pocket rocket leader. Good girl. Three, two, one, go! For Kev, the rally has been a success. He snatched second place in the two dog race and in the four dog event. And all of this on top of the gold medal that his eight dog team had already brought home. In first place, Kev Spooner. I thought I'd do best in, I've got second in. Uh, and the class that I thought I'd be way back in, well, pretty much bringing up rear, I've won. So it's a bizarre, which is like I said, sled dog racing, anything can happen. It has been great, it always is great up here, it's an holiday and you get to run your dogs. What more do you want? <laughs>